In this video, I'll cover two essential points when you learn by yourself. One is related to the choice of practice place. The choice of location can influence a lot your ability to learn safely and fast. Another significant point is that it will be challenging to even set up the kite correctly without any help. So at least having a friend that understands the sport to give you some necessary support is something you should get. My name is Tiago Rocha and I'm an IQ examiner with more than 15 years of experience teaching from beginners to instructors, competing in international tours also. Having had the experience of learning by myself, I picked up a lot of tricks along the way that I will pass on to you. So if you are interested in knowing more, don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more and activate the notifications to find out when the next video is out. So I recommend you get a kitesurfer friend to help you or be nearby to assist you in case of need. I know what you're thinking. If I had a kitesurfer friend to teach me, then I would no longer be teaching myself. That would be the same as taking lessons. If you go all by yourself without any help, you probably not even rig the kite correctly. So your very first attempt can be the very last one. Get at least the very first tips with someone that can help you. It's not a sport that you can figure out by trial and error without any guidance. Get at least a half hour with a kiter on the beach to help you launch and land your kite and give you a few pointers. If you're still learning to pilot your power kite, your friend can grab you by the harness handle to help you fight traction and learn to better lean back against the wind. Your friend will also help point out your most obvious mistakes, such as pulling down the bar at the wrong time or waiting too long before steering back up as your kite is heading downward. That's not typically too much to ask from a friend and it's usually something kite surfers find pleasant and amusing. Teaching you to kite surf from scratch, on the other hand, would involve a higher commitment and responsibility. That is why you should take lessons in the first place. It will save you money and time by getting you the right gear and tips to quickly acquire the right skills. Another critical point is, do you have the safe spot with the right conditions to practice? If you're going to teach yourself kitesurfing, you must pick an appropriate location with the right con wind conditions. It would be best if you had a place with a lot of space and no crowds. To launch your kite, you need an empty area around you with a radius of at least 25 meters, the length of your lines, plus some free space downwind from you in case you crash your kite or need to stop in case of an emergency. Your lines are like blades at high speed and you don't want to cut anyone's ear or throat during a bad launch or unexpected kite loop. The best is if you start with short lines. This way, the space you use is smaller and the power also. Using short lines will help you a lot in your first attempts. Check out the video linked above about the short lines and their importance. In the description, I'll list a few more videos that can help you shorten your lines. Good schools will always have short lines to teach with, so you learn faster. No obstacles nearby. No buildings, electrical lines, cars, rocks or other objects. Expect anything to happen and plan for enough clearance downwind from you. If there's a building downwind, take your stuff and walk further where there isn't. If you're at the water start stage, a beach or a lake with as little waves and current as possible, a sandy bottom and if possible shallow enough to walk even a few yards from the shore or stand up if things don't go your way. This can help you a lot. And even when searching for a school, and this is something you should have in mind when choosing the place to have lessons. Sideshore, parallel to the beach or side on shore wind with medium speed, too weak or too strong can make your learning much harder. Imagine you might get dragged downwind helplessly by your kite for a long time and try to envision where you'll end up exiting the water if that happened. If possible, try to arrange for someone with a boat or jet ski to keep an eye on you and come to rescue in case of an emergency, mainly if the wind is offshore. You may thank yourself later for doing this. If you're searching for a place to learn, check out these six points to help you find the right school for you. You can find a link above or in the description below. This video is part of a series related to learning by yourself. In the next video, we wrap up this series by checking if it's worth learning by yourself. 
also leave a comment in the comment section to keep this conversation going or say if you agree or not with these points. As it's always amazing to hear from you. See you in the next video.